Seven, Mr. Pritchett. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, we have prepared a list for your review this morning, and we would like to do that in the form of a PowerPoint. Aaron, do you have that? Uh, as y'all are aware, there's been uh, quite a bit of discussion related to preparation of a list for your consideration um, at the direction of the Commission. You can go to the next one. Uh, staff has spent a number of months compiling this list and based on departmental needs, you see the criteria that we have used for the evaluation process based on facilities, maintenance costs, technology requirements, evaluation of the infrastructure as well as the rolling stock and its conditions. The, uh, in evaluating this li list, uh, we requested the need to be totaled uh, by the staff and the department heads and then the commissioners each had an opportunity to do an independent review and evaluation of these proposed items. Um, the commissioners have met with the staff again to kind of finalize this list and the following is the culmination of that list. Item one would be roads, streets, and bridges. You see an allocation of 26,839. These are approximations uh, based on our estimate of the tax to be collected should the public approve a special purpose local option sales tax, and if those monies collected remain approximately constant to the current collections. Uh, these will be used, these monies for road streets and bridges obviously will be used for paving, widening, and resurfacing. Um, bridge replacement is a key component of this as well as rolling stock. And I will note that this commission has indicated they would like to continue to review that list, Mr. Chairman, and evaluate those named projects. Under water and sewer you have an allocation of 17.5 million. This is for rolling stock and for the infrastructure, infrastructure expansion maintenance as well as repairs. Public safety is an allocation of 10,784,500. The purpose of this obviously is rolling stock, evidence storage, also improvements to your animal shelter, fire station repairs and improvements, uh, training for the uh, fire station uh, or for the fire uh, volunteers and staff, 911 center facility improvements, public safety radio system which will be jointly funded by both Lowndes County as well as the City of Valdosta and the computer aid dispatch system replacement. Parks and Recreation uh, would be 3,500,000. As you know, the Parks and Recreation uh, Authority is an autonomous and independent authority that will determine the final use of these funds, but uh, the purposes by which are listed here will be the recommendations and these are from the list submitted by Parks and Rec. So we believe that these are items that they um, have placed a value on and have placed some, prior, some priority on these projects that's presented to you here. General facility improvements, 3,732,000 these improvements repairs and restoration are for the Civic Center Courthouse and improvements to the South Georgia Regional Library. You see the percentage allocation for water and sewer, 28.13%. Uh, 
Public Safety 17.28, Parks and Rec 5.61, the General Improvements 5.98, and the majority for road streets, bridges at 43%. This information is also available on our website and at the meeting tomorrow night, Mr. Chairman, as I understand you will be encouraging uh, comments from the public that are in attendance as well as through the coming weeks soliciting input um, from the public and uh, there will be a, uh, as I understand between you and the mayor, there's been an agreement that there will be perhaps a joint meeting, uh, including the other cities as well for presentation of proposed plus projects. And uh, last part of this information is that we will submit this to the attorney. There could be some rearrangement of the, um, I guess the technical naming of each of these divisions or uh, topics. But this is the basic process and the projects that you have indicated through your discussions that you believe to be the most uh, important at this particular time and are prepared to present this to the public. Thank you, Mr. Pritchard. Uh, again, just one little statement on this. I do feel like there's been an awful lot of input. We will continue to have some input on this, on the SPLOS 7 list. Um, certainly the commissioners and staff feel like that this is a very back to basics plan. Um, it is something that we, uh, you know, we, we have put, again, a lot of effort into. We feel very good about the projects. Feel very good about SPLOS 7 as we move forward. It's something that really is for this county and this community to continue to grow. This is something that we uh, desperately need. And, uh, of course, we're uh, looking for every opportunity that we can to speak with the public and with the uh, community out there to help them understand the needs of the list and, and how we got to this uh, to this list and the importance of this list. So again, we appreciate everybody's input, everything from the commissioners all the way through staff, um, and uh, as we move forward through the community's portion of it. Again, thank everybody for their efforts. Thank you.